All right, this is a simplification question. There's gonna be two pitfalls in here. One is we've got double-decker fractions. And the other is, um, it looks like a pretty complicated thing to do, so that one of the pitfalls is just us making a, a mechanical error. So I'm gonna try to write, I'm gonna know that in advance, I'm gonna try to write big and clear and, and slow and just get things deliberately, deliberately right. This is what I would be saying to myself if I were on the test. So, to get rid of fractions in the denominator, what you want to do is invert that fraction and multiply it by the numerator. So this is going to become um, 2x minus 8 over x plus 1 times x squared minus 1 over 3x squared minus 12x. Now that I see a simplification opportunity here, and you need to spot these whenever you're on the test if you have the difference of two squares. That's a code, and you need to convert this into x plus one times x minus one. I always convert that immediately whenever you see it. Once you do that, you see that, oh, there's an x plus one in the numerator and the denominator, and we can cross those out. So we end up with two x minus eight times x minus one over, let's pull an x out of this guy. We have x times, let's actually pull a 3x out. We end up with x minus 4. Ooh, and now I see another opportunity, which is up in the numerator, 2x minus 8. If we pull a 2 out, this actually becomes 2 times x minus 4, which means we can cancel those, which means we have 2 times x minus 1 in the numerator over three x in the denominator. And that's starting to look like something that might be an answer choice. And it is. That is the fourth answer choice. All right, so that wasn't as bad as, as it looked like it was gonna be. You just need to be a little clever to find those, those codes.